What is up everyone, my name is Odinson and this is episode one of a new series. Um, we're going back to a game that's had a lot of updates over the last couple of years now, I think. I haven't played it for a long time. I think we're on update seven now. It's still in early access, but satisfactory. I haven't played this for a long time, so we're going to jump in and see what this game has to offer today, 2023. I like this kind of game. This is why I like automation in Minecraft and everything with modern Minecraft. Stuff like this, just being able to automate all the things. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm gonna jump in. I'm gonna see what's changed, if anything. This game definitely had the wow factor when it was first released in its, um, Early access form seemed really good. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. Attention, Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer <clears throat> for Fixit Incorporated. All right. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. <laughs> Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Alrighty. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. Ready then. Awesome. Godspeed. Mm hmm. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. Looks good I enough. Nita, also known as our That's a poison area over there. That's not good. To support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your <laughs> sector to survive planetfall. Congratulations. Note: Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to onboarding. Mhm. Mm First objective: Please dismantle <clears throat> the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. Okay. Okay, dismantle mode. Ah. 
All important fixit data and communication okay. is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. <clears throat> Right. Second objective. Please ensure you have your fixit incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note. According to fixit regulations, <coughs> every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Okay. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Okay. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Right. Uh, iron ore. Okay. So, bunch over there. Bunch over there. This looks like a decent bunch over here. Hmm. Mm hmm. That lag when loading in new areas. Yep, it's right here. What? All right, here we go. All right, there's a thing that we're probably going to need to kill. This objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Mm -hmm. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. I mean, we're pretty close to iron now. Also, pretty good up here too. I think up here is going to be better. And we've got a raspberry plant there too. Ah, uh, yeah, up here is going to be better. Okay. So Q. The hub. Breaking news from Earth. Widespread chaos and mayhem. World President urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. All right. <laughs> we got the hub. Congratulations, you have unlocked Hub Feature Manual Craft Bench. Hub Feature <clears throat> Hub Terminal. Fifth Objective Complete Hub Upgrade 1. Note The Craft Bench and Hub Terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Okay. So. We need 10 iron rods. Iron rod, so we need 10 of these. All right, five, six, seven, eight. And we can this. Cool. Let me just drag them in there. Upgrade hub. Oh, look, and now we got a roof. Sweet. And the chest. Congratulations. You have unlocked building, workshop, equipment, portable miner, inventory, additional slots. 
Hub feature, personal storage. Sixth objective, complete hub upgrade to, note, portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note, multiple okay. portable miners can be used on a single node. Okay, we need 20. And 10 of them, which means we need 15, 35 iron. <clears throat> Alright, let's um do the thing then. <clears throat> Got forty there, so all right, so we need <clears throat> thirty five of these. Might take a minute. And once we get a hub upgrade to, I'll start building the stuff. Okay, twenty of these. And then ten of these. Go. Uh, drag them in there. Oh, now we got walls. All right, very cool. Congratulations! You <coughs> unlocked hub feature, biomass burner, scanner feature, copper, new buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. All right. Advice, automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, so what we're gonna do. Kind of got a craft bench. Equipment workshop. Yeah. So 318, 22 ore. Pretty sure we still got that. Yeah. So what do I need? So first 22 and then it's the four iron rods, okay. Nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two. Four of these, and the rest in iron plates. Okay. Now, where am I going to put this? Probably here. Yeah. Okay, and so the portable miner requires six plates and four iron rods. Cool. Ah, uh, annoying. Hey. 
Okay, I guess it's pretty easy to get stuck on stuff. to the equipment shop. Yes. Cool. And then I guess this and then we head over to our little iron. Down, it's gonna mine the iron ore for us. Perfect. Yeah. Alright, so what's next on our list? Don't need a car bench. Power line. Strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. What specimen? How about grade three requires copper, so we're gonna need to find some copper too. Oh, there's some just over here. And a nice, oh look at that, we're in a really good spot here for this. Good. Alright, cool. Good to know. Got some copper ore. Oh, this is biomass burner. Alright, cool. Over here, we've got the New Zealand Zapper and Port Miner over there. Okay, I'm gonna get my iron. And we'll quickly get on to tier three. Harvest. Okay. Right, so what do we need? We need four, uh, 16 more plates. Means 24. 24 iron ingots. And this is why we need to automate pretty much straight away in this. All right, so that's the 20 of them. And we need 20, need more iron. Okay. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. What artifact? Anyway, huh. 
Pity, pity, pity. Okay. And 20 copper wire. And copper ingots. All right. Upgrade. New buildings, new parts, new scanner board. Congratulations. You have unlocked scanner feature, limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Eighth objective. Complete hub upgrade for. Note. Use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Okay. So what have we got? We've got power poles and power lines. We've got the smelter. And the constructor. Okay, that's good. Um, oh well, constructor, reinforced iron plate. Cables. Iron plates and screws. Right. And then to get to tier four. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to start um automating for sure. I'm gonna probably want a couple of um Where's the nearest limestone? Over there. Oh, hello. There's a bunch of iron over there too. see you Alright, I think we need to make some more of these. <clears throat> Alright, so let's have a look again. We want the smelter. Five rods. Eight copper wire.
right. Now I want to uh uh Okay, and now I want some of those stupid ass poles and some power lines. Okay. So, one concrete, three copper wire. Okay, iron. <clears throat> All right, power pole. Uh. Um, at the back, it's got to be at the back. Yeah. And we can have a second power thing. Thinking if we are about here. On about here. Alright. And then power line costs cable. Fine. How do we make them? Cable. This. Here we go. Two. Okay. Eh. Eh. All right. I think we're powered up. Okay. So then, if I give it that, I smell my iron for me. Perfect. Okay. Leaves are not ideal, but they're better than nothing for making power at the moment. Yeah, a wood. You can put that hog remains in there as well. Okay. Alright, good. We've got that, and then how do we make conveyor belt? Don't right now, basically. Okay, um, and that means we need a constructor. Okay, uh, six plates and twelve screws. Okay, that requires rods. Have a bunch of screws left over. Oh, a bunch of rods. Okay, so. 
then we should be able to make reinforced plates. Okay, got this now. These. Yes. Cool. <clears throat> what else was it? Eight cables. Probably not going to have enough. Not a big fan of running around at night. You don't know what's around the corner like this dude. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff. All right. And I keep forgetting to make um, more miners, which I'm going to have to do very soon. Okay, that'll do for a minute. Let's -a go. Okay, copper ingots. Eight, nine, ten, and then we're gonna make wires. Good, and then how many did I need? Eight cables. Okay, and then we can make the constructor to live right next to him. Um, okay, try that again because we want it actually to face the other way, opposite way to the smelter. Round. So. <clears throat> and the reason for that will become apparent later. Okay, so we've got that. All right, so that does bring us to the end of episode one. And we're going to get more into the building of stuffs, the automation of stuffs next episode. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, as always, safe.